Hi and welcome back to my channel. This is Sarah from Sarah Beth Plants and today we're going to be using our Parisian picnic kit that's available in our shop. Um, I will give you a quick flip through of the kit before we get started. Um, today I'm going to be using a holographic um, foil on all of my labels. These are our weekly script page and this is our weekly foiled icon page. This one, I did go ahead and foil this one in gold because I wanted to use a different foil for my daily set. Um, so this one we actually won't be using today. Now here are our full boxes. They are so pretty. I have always loved Paris and someday I want to get there. Uh, but what you'll notice on this page is that this box right here is supposed to be foiled with a quote on it. Um, however, I <laughs> forgot to foil mine before cutting it and um, or printing the quote on there before cutting it. So instead of um, just wasting this page um, because it was for me, I went ahead and decided to go ahead and use it. But when you purchase the kit, this box will have a foiled quote on it. Here's our washi page with our headers and our boxes for um, reminders and uh, you can use it for meal planning, um, tons of functions that you can use that one for. These are our daily washi and header pages and we have some coordinating bows on there. And then our side washi and the checklist that I did for the dailies um, this time are a bit longer with some more space in there so you have a little bit more room to write down what your um, plans are for the day. This is the second page of the daily washi and those are available as an add-on to the full kit. Um, and then here we have our hourly boxes, our one hour, our two hour, hour and our three hour along with some checklists and some bows. And that is the preview of the kit. Uh, let's go ahead and get started with our plans. Now, as I mentioned in uh, one of our previous videos, this is my new planner and this is the um, botanical rose that has recently been discontinued through Foxy Fix. And I have it foiled in black and it says, she designed a life she loved. All right, I'll give you a preview of what last week's kit looked like once it was all filled in. I really love this kit. I love the um, all the foil that's on there. I love the Deathly Hollows checklist that I recently resized to fit in the um, Hobonichi columns. And as you can see, I did not do too well <laughs> with tracking my water for the second half of the week or my steps. So hopefully next week I can do a little bit better with that. Actually, I think I forgot to grab those two sticker pages. So I'm going to run and grab that real quick and then we'll get started. All right, sorry about that. Um, so I went ahead and made a few different sheets in um, the glitter um, to coordinate several kits that are coming up. And for this kit, I decided to go ahead with the, um, it's kind of like a coral color um, glitter background for the uh, water trackers. And then um, I have these little stickers that have the sneakers on them and they um, have a little space for you to write how many your steps are for each day. I'm also going to go ahead and pull out our gymnastics stickers, the no school stickers, uh, our design stickers, our YouTube stickers, and then baseball and skating we have quite a bit going on this coming week and I want to make sure that we are all set for the week without <laughs> forgetting anything because my kids keep me super busy with their sports 
and with school coming to an end um, very quickly, um, we have about three weeks left of school. So uh, as many of you know that at, towards the end of the school year, there is so much going on between picnics and um, the end of year testing, which we actually are already finished with. But um, in addition to all that, we also have uh, the almost towards the end of baseball this year and uh, my daughter's at the end of her skating for this year and then we have gymnastics. Uh, my daughter has her end of year show coming up this Saturday which will be very exciting for her because um, even though she has you know she's joined the team prep level for gymnastics she is um, not at the point where she is able to actually compete yet so she works hard all year long and then at the end of the year they do one show that they are able to perform for their family and friends so that is coming up this saturday which will be exciting my daughter is super excited to do that uh, she's looked forward to it all year long because her brother and her sister get to do like their competitive sports every week or every couple of weeks. Um, so she has been waiting a long time to be able to participate in that aspect of her sport. So that will be fun to watch. And our my parents, they live close to us, so they will be able to um, come and watch the performance with her too, which will be really nice. I decided to go with this um, sky for the washi. I think it was really, really pretty um, when you pair it with the flowers that are at the bottom. So I am very happy with the way this kit turned out. I've always wanted to go to Paris. Um, I started taking foreign language when I was in fifth grade, and I took, oh, I took French, and it has always been my dream to go to Paris, and so when I saw this artwork, I knew that I had to have it. Oh, sorry about that. I should have known to bring my undo with me <laughs> because it never goes on perfectly the first time. Okay, so before I lose track, I'm going to go ahead and put the date covers on and I just, I have been using the white background sticker for my dates, but this week I decided to go ahead and use the clear one because the background was pretty simple for the top washi. There we go. I am videotaping this on Sunday night, which is the day before Memorial Day. And we spent the day with my parents, um, took the kids to their house, we went in the pool, and um, it was really warm today and sunny. My son and I have a tendency to burn very easily, <laughs> even with sunscreen on. Um, my daughters, they are very fortunate that they don't burn uh, like I do so you can put the sunscreen on them and you know that you know they'll probably just tan if they get a sun sunburn it's very rare so my son and I um, ended up getting a slight sunburn today um, well it probably was more from yesterday we went to my husband he had a concert he's a musician for the military and 
we went to a concert that he was having uh, for the community and it was a lot of fun but it was really 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 hot out and super super sunny and um, it was during the daytime so they didn't really have um, any shade the concert was in an area that the um, stage had like a small overhang on it but it was not enough to cover the area where everyone was sitting so within like 20 30 minutes my son had a very bad sunburn on his shoulders and was just he was not having too much fun so mainly the sunscreen the sunburn was from yesterday but um, he got a little bit more today so I felt bad for him. He was in a lot of pain on his shoulders, but regardless of all of that, we had a lot of fun. It was really nice to see my husband um, in concert because honestly, he does a lot of activities for his job, but most of them are activities that we are not able to go to um, because they're military activities or um, for like the military balls and stuff. So. Um, a lot of times we can't go and watch them but this week we were able to and that was a lot of fun so this coming summer he's got a lot of concerts that are going to be outdoors and we should be able to see more than we normally do where is my washi there we go I am not sure that I'm actually going to use a lot of the full boxes um, on the weekly spread because we do have quite a bit going on this week um, but what I really do like to do is to get my full overview of the week here and then um, use the pictures to decorate my daily because um, I have the daily open most of the time on my desk and then the weekly is like where I check back through on things so that I can make sure that I'm not missing anything. So, go ahead and get my list started. And I don't usually use the last column of list here because I use my habit trackers there and I mark down things that I have to remember. Not necessarily habits that I'm tracking, but more like the days that I have to do parent pickup, for the kids at school because um, that can change from week to week depending on which activities they have going on for that week. So I track that and I've been trying to track um, my water intake which um, now I'm keeping that up at the top with the water trackers. So I will probably only do the one habit tracker for this week. And we'll see where it goes from there. So this week, the planning style will be a bit different than what it has been recently. Now there's two strips of washi here. Um, the longer one will go on the right page and then the shorter one on the left. So um, we did have a busy weekend, but um, tomorrow on Memorial Day, my husband is off um, since he worked over the weekend, and we are going to go take the kids to the movies and then um, cook out at home later in the evening after after we are done with the movies. I am going to pick one of these um, full boxes here to go over my calendar because um, I don't actually use that. Um, 
but you do always receive 12 full boxes so you have plenty to go between the, the weekly pages and the daily pages depending on how many you use I like to try and split them up as evenly as possible so I can have enough to cover both areas I think I will go with these tulips Now, I did make these all the same size for the boxes, but I know that it's not perfectly aligned to cover that area where the calendar is, but I don't want to make them any larger and decide for you which boxes you need to choose for your For your sidebar. I want to give you the option to pick whichever you like. All right, so this is going to be a little different for what I'm used to, so just bear with me while I figure out exactly how we're going to work this in. Okay, so we'll start with the water trackers, and I'm going to put these right at the top here. I hope that this week I am better about getting that water in. I have not been very good about it. But the weather is getting hotter and I need to make sure that I stay hydrated. I love how that holographic foil just shimmers. I think it's probably my favorite foil. Those will go right underneath the water trackers. You see that? There we go. We are looking at getting the kids a pool membership for the summer, which will be a lot of fun. We haven't done it in the past here on post, um, but this year the kids had requested that we get one. They're a bit older now, so it makes it a little easier to take them to the pool by myself <laughs> because I've got three of them, and my youngest just turned seven, um, but during the day my husband's not able to go to the pool with us, so um, I haven't wanted to do the pool pass in previous years just because it would be too hard with all the kids but now they are learning to swim and um, it will be much easier to go and be in the pool with them by myself so they are very excited for that um, I'm gonna go ahead and use the coral colored glitter I really love this color of the glitter paper. I'll we'll put that there. And is there anything else I wanted to? You know what? I'm going to do one of. Oh, I just made these ones too, these foil script pages. If you would be interested in me adding these to the shop um, in the option of foiled or unfoiled, um, let me know. I can do different um, words, and if you have any ideas for ones that you would like to see, let me know. Um, right here I have two different ones on this page. This is for water and exercise. And then I made a couple of other ones for like summertime activities. We have ones that say pool and then movies, which um, I can use that movies one tomorrow when we go to the movies with the kids. 
So I'm going to go ahead and tr track the exercise and that might the one that's for parent loop, which I believe is still in here. This one is not foiled, but that's perfectly okay to mix and match. So, so <laughs> probably help if I put down my other tracker, right? There we go. I do have the July monthly almost completed and ready to go in the shop, so I will do a preview of that probably tomorrow um, this way you guys can see what we have and then I will list that on Friday um, this way we have plenty of time to get them uh, out to you when you place your order to have them for July 1st all right we're gonna use laundry this week things that I need to make sure I don't forget to do. Um, my daughter has her um, fifth grade um, fifth grade picnic coming up and I need to make sure that I fill out the paperwork for that because they want the parents to help out so need to get that form filled out and sent in this week and a few other things I feel like there's a lot going on this week maybe there's not <laughs> but it feels like there is um, here. I'll do it to buy list know if I have any happy mail coming but just in case I like to track that to make sure that everything gets here when it's supposed to. Our mail has a tendency to get lost. <laughs> I don't know what happens with our post office but they are they need to be tracked over here. Um, so I just like to make sure that I keep track of all of that and then and the orders that are going out to just to make sure not, there's no issues with our mail. Okay, I think that is good. Um, I do want to use this new washi that was from the Simply Gilded pre-order. I'm gonna go ahead and add that up here and use that for my weekend banner. really pretty when you layer it on top of your washi. And I can never rip this first time without an issue. <laughs> That's okay. Alright, and I'm going to use the big one with the white background. You do get a secondary one here that is on the blue background, but since we're using the foiled washi here, sorry about that, I just dropped my tweezers. I'm going to use the, just the white one. Um, this way it, it kind of pops against the background. Okay, um, let's put in what we have going on for the week. So on Tuesdays, and as you'll notice, I never go in order. So kind of plan just very random. So <laughs> I'm sorry if that 
bothers you, I like to just do it as I remember things are coming up. I have my list here on Monday. The kids do not have school, so we're going to go ahead and use one of these labels. Mark down, no school. Tuesday, my son typically has his baseball on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but this week they decided to have his game on Tuesday and Wednesday. So we will go ahead and put those in. Um, Tuesday will be hectic because we have his game and my daughter has her skating lessons, so it will be a bit hectic, but that is totally our normal. Okay. We usually also have the gymnastics and baseball on Mondays, but this week because of the holiday, they have canceled that. So, um, which was nice because that gave us some time to be able to go and do some fun activities with the kids on, on Monday. Wednesday. And then we have baseball again in the evening. I do usually save my hourly boxes to use um, on my daily section. So if you're wondering why I don't use them on here, that's why I like to save them and use them on my daily section. All right. Uh, oh, on Monday we're going to go and do the movies with the kids, and I am actually going to use a box for that. Uh, we're going to go see Aladdin, which I am really excited for. It's one of my, it was always one of my favorite movies as a kid. So to be able to see it in live action is going to be a lot of fun. like a competition like she will when she moves up um, to the level that starts competing but it gives them the opportunity to put a show on so for them she calls my daughter calls it her gymnastic competition even though it's really not um, but she is really really excited about that all right I want to try and make sure I do my YouTube video earlier this coming week. Um, I'm going to shoot for Thursday to get that done. Um, I have not been able to get it done that early in the last few weeks, but I would like to try and get that done. Um, this way I can get it up for you a little bit earlier than I have been. So I'll put that one. I do my videos at night once the kids are in bed. So I'll put that right there. And now 
Now this is only going to be marked on one day, but I will be designing pretty much all week because I have a few new kits I would like to get out um, this coming week. Our uh, new monthly for July is going to be a nautical theme and I will be doing a coordinating um, weekly kit to go with it. So I'm really excited about that. I want to try and get both of those done for Friday's release. Um, you know what? I thought we had more going on this week than we actually do. Um, so my week is pretty bare as of right now, but everything always seems to fill up pretty quickly for me. So um, I was not going to do to-do this this week, but I think we will. Um, because my week is not as busy as it typically is. Um, so we'll go ahead and get those on there. really crooked. I wonder if I'll be able to get this up now. Let's see. This newest batch of stickers seems to be much easier to reposition. I do use the premium matte um, vinyl sticker paper which is not supposed to be repositionable but this new batch moves around pretty easy which is really nice you're not fighting with it and I know a lot of people like to have their to-do list all at the same place I I don't I like to just make it random for me that makes me really happy so visually I like to have things randomized for the most part. Keep it interesting, I say, right? There we go. Oh, we, my son does have his, I just remembered, my son has his um, baseball photos this week, but Last Friday, my phone decided it was going to stop working, so I ended up having to take it in and have it looked at, and they replaced it. So I lost all of my text, which also means that I lost the information for the photos because they sent it out um, a few days before my phone uh, broke, and I never got the information put in my planner before they replace the phone so I am hoping that the coach will send out another text as a reminder so that I don't f miss the day because <laughs> they have to be there a bit earlier than sorry about that my battery died um, so I need to get that replaced um, now I was saying my, my son's baseball pictures so those will be this week sometime I need to get those added into the plans as soon as I have the info. And my daughter's team for skating never did photos um, this year, so I need to see if I can find somebody who will take photos of her in her um, skating dress. This way she can have a photo on the wall like the rest of the kids sports that are up there. Okay, I've got, let's see here. I'm gonna put another list up here. And I think I'm going to track my meals for this week on that. I'm really excited for school to get done. Um, it's been really hard to plan um, 
solid meals for the family when we have all the sports and school because um, I typically pick up the kids from school a couple days a week and go straight to sports and we get home like at bedtime so we have to um, eat stuff that is easy to do on the go so I'm really excited for uh, being able to do a little bit more cooking over the summer and doing some healthier meals for them. Fridays I do brunch with my mom and we do our planning. So I'm going to put my pretty holographic mug here for that. And then I almost forgot my my dog. I don't know if I told you in the last video. I don't think I did. But my dog, he got an ear infection. And from the ear infection, he decided to scratch and scratch and scratch and scratch until he caused himself to get a hematoma in his ears, both ears. Um, so we ended up having to take him in to the vet and they had to do an emergency surgery on him to drain the um, infection. So we have to go back this week to get his stitches out, which I'm sure he'll be very happy for because he has not been a happy camper um, for the last week and a half. So um, he will be very excited to get those taken out. Got a payday coming up, which is always exciting. Fridays are my busiest day um, because we also have club for skating and I have my Etsy releases are on Fridays as well. Probably did not need my checklist on this day. That's okay. So I'm going to We're going to do that one for skating. And let's see if I can try to pull this up a little so I have some space. It's always nerve-wracking. <laughs> you just never know when it's going to tear your page. So it makes me a little nervous. There we go. I don't know if I'll get lucky two times in a row, but give it a shot. Very impressed with how easy this new batch of sticker vapor is coming up. The last several packs of it have not been easy to pull up at all, which makes it really frustrating if you don't have your undo with you, which I forgot to bring it in here. So um, I'm very happy that this is coming up easy for me. And let's see. Then I want to try and edit on 
probably Saturday evening. So we will we'll use a bow for that to edit the, the video that I plan to do on Friday. Um, we are also going to go and check out that pool uh, tomorrow. So I will put that in here as well with a flag. Hopefully it is nice because um, the kids really want to be able to go there this summer. We have not even checked it out. We've been stationed here a long time and have never gone to the pool. So they are excited to head over there tomorrow and check it out. All right, and I think I think that is it for right now. I'm going to fill this in off camera and um, we'll post updates on Instagram throughout the week. And um, oh, I did want to show you before we go here um, how the new checklist look on the page. I did one ahead of time so that I could show you and look at I like to use the extra list from the weekly, the to-do, and the little things on my daily pages. And I use the, the ones marked for today for all of the work stuff that I want to do. And then the little things are all of the things around the house that I want to do. And then I have my the gold headers that I told you about. And I'm gonna go ahead and use these during the daily section. And I really like how that looks on that blue sky up at the top here. Okay. And then I typically will put a washi on the top pages here. Um, I will probably go with this new foiled um, confetti from Simply Gilded for this week. And then um, I use the rest of the boxes from the weekly section to put in like the sports for that day. And then also I like to take my full boxes that I have left over from the weekly section and I will put them on this page here so that I can see them throughout the week. Um, like I said, because I have this one open all week long on the days that I am actually on and then I just reference the weekly section um, to make sure that I'm not missing anything. So um, I thought I would try it out this week using all of the full boxes on the daily section instead of on the weekly section. This way I can see them more throughout the week. Um, but for those of you who use your weekly as your main um, spread and main calendar, then you have plenty of boxes to decorate the entire week. Um, so I will go ahead and post updates throughout the week of the daily section as well so you can see how that's coming along. And um, then on Friday, we are planning to have the new release of our nautical themed um, July kit and our matching weekly kit. This way, if you want to use those for 4th of July, you will have plenty of time to get those ordered and shipped out to you. So I think that is all for right now. And I just want to thank you for watching this with me and uh, for supporting me. I really appreciate it. And if you enjoyed this video, uh, please like and subscribe so that you will be able to stay um, up to date on when new videos are coming. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day. Bye.